Happy Easter. <laughs> we're going to Sprouts. I'm gonna get everyone. We're, we're gonna be going to lunch. I guess it's lunch. Anyway, um, we're gonna go to this place called Dixie House and we're gonna meet up with my mom and my brother and Ivy and have a little Easter gathering. Do you need help? I need the door open. <laughs> oh, I'm videoing. Videoing. I'm gonna whack you with it in a minute. Whoa. Contraption. <laughs> 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 Ever again. Where's that other one? Turn that right over there. <laughs> we have two. <laughs> well, guys, look what Domi gets. This big honking <laughs> worm type thing. I guess it was Amanda's back in the day. He loves it. I don't know. It's too big. But I don't have the heart to take it away from him. You're crazy. Still crazy, man. Things. Way bigger than you are. This dish better be good. Or I'm gonna take it. To take it somewhere. <laughs> take it. Hey, how you doing today? <laughs> well, hello there. Welcome to Justin's kitchen. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. No, bro. <laughs> hey, guys. We're not hungry, but we're going to make it anyway. We're going to make Philly cheese steaks no, I'm not sandwiches. Right I'm not making it right now, though. No. Oh, and I had one Modelo left, so I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, I'm, I have one Bud Light left, so I'm pretty excited. Well. Mm -mm. I have more? Oh, and I'm extra excited. It's weird. We're going to use this Munster cheese. We've been, Eddie. Eddie cheese. We've been nibbling on it. Get it, Eddie Munster. Following me. I got things to do. I got onion fingers. Time for. I think I'm gonna put some tomato on my Philly cheese steak. Ain't, ain't a Philly day. Cause that tomato is the bomb, and I need to eat them. See, steak. they're getting old, and they're so good. They're brown. I don't think they're any good anymore. They've been brown. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the um meet guys at Albertsons. It was really cool. We got to um, actually shave off some ribeye. Like they shaved it real thin for us so we're going to use it for Philly steak. But I have never knew them to do that. Have you done that before Justin? Uh, no but I know they will. I just never thought about it. How much did that end up being? It's pretty expensive? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't on sale there but I mean I like Albertsons a lot so well, and they're really not. Well, that they're... Albertsons is really nice. Yeah. The other Albert Albertsons we went to, they're oh, ridiculous. Butt yeah, butt heads at the meat counter. But yeah, that guy was cool. He said, "He said, tell me what you want. I'll make it for you." That's awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. for him. I guess he was from up north because after he cut it for me, cut it exactly like I wanted and how much I wanted, he said, uh, "All right, so now what you gonna do with it?" And I told him what I was gonna do with it and <laughs> stuff like that and. He said, ah, but you got to think about it. What kind of roll are you going to use? And I showed him the hoagie. He goes, see, he said, you can't, you can't use those kind of rolls up in Philly. That ain't a real Philly steak. But down here in Texas, I guess that's as close as you're going to get. Yeah. So I guess he is from up north. He's yeah. cool. I like him. Yeah, he was really into it. That's for sure. Nice. But yeah, so um, tomorrow we are doing another Meatless Monday. So yep. it's cool. Justin actually brought it up himself. So I was kind of surprised about that. Yeah. But we're going to do our famous pizza. pizza. You know how we do um, our lavish. Lavash. 
Lavash, however you say it. The Mediterranean style flatbread. Lavash, Mediterranean style flatbread. So we're gonna do that. Really? I don't know either. I mean, Lavash. I would think it's Mediterranean. And then these are our hoagies for tonight. So. Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna make the pizza. Yes. And um. Yep. Get back in the groove of things. We had really fat food today. <laughs> Justin was all breathing hard after we left. <laughs> but yeah, I ran yesterday and I ran twice. Twice last week and played tennis. Or did I only run? I don't remember. But we need to play tennis again this week. Yeah. We need to try and play it twice this week. You need to go with my racket, man. This is our secret ingredient. Yeah, you really do. Secret ingredient to Philly steaks. Yep. All you do is go to Albertsons and um, you get these, you cook them down. Yeah. They're yeah, good. <laughs> See, gourmet dog chews. Yep. Why can't they be used for human consumption? <laughs> yeah, the dogs. They haven't, I haven't gotten it. Yeah, wasn't that crazy, that one bag that I held up? And they're both, whoa, oh, somebody noticed it. But um, they both, there were both one pound bags in the same thing. And one looked like there was like hardly any in it compared to that one. So I was like, well, and they were cheaper. But for that big bag, it was six something. So for treats, I think that's great. Or Chewies, like big bags of Chewies like that. And I can never get just the, what's the, yeah, let's do that. Do this? Yeah. Um, what's the white chewies? What are those called? Just raw hides. Just raw hides? See, Roxy is very picky and she doesn't really like any of the just white raw hides, but she loves the ones that are flavored. Like beef flavored. Like yeah. Beef flavored yeah. So, and I'm going to go ahead and give you one probably tonight and tomorrow because then after that, you're going to have a hard time chewing. I know, because you're going to get your teethies cleaned. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You'll be okay. You'll be good. <coughs> That'd be good. You want a treat? You want a chewy? Do you like chewies? <laughs> Alright, let's give you one. Is you ready? Huh? Do they look good? Sit. No. Nope. Sit. Turn around. Good boy. Can you, can you beg? It's a good boy. Ooh, look at how long you're standing. That's crazy. Okay. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this at the same time. Can I have a paw? Thank you. Down. Down. Good boy. Dead dog. Dead dog. Good boy. Here you go. Okay, Roxy, you're next. Turn around. Speak. Speak. Ooh, good girl. You begging? Can I have a paw? Give me a paw. Oh, <laughs> give me a paw. Thank you. Can you turn around? There you go. And they're off. <laughs> so I had a bright idea. I just want to try something out of the box. We had leftover mashed potatoes, you know, that we used this past week with um, cashew milk and all that grand stuff. So I'm going to see. How this turns out in the fryer, gonna make like potato balls. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I think like being cold, that's that's good because it does help bind it together. I don't know. So we're gonna try it out. You know what? Maybe we should have tried like breadcrumbs or something. Coat it in breadcrumbs. All them in breadcrumbs or something. Yeah. No, well, guys, it kind of just shriveled. Hey, dude. Alright, bro. Anyway, they kind of disintegrated. <laughs> so now we're just going to stick to regular french fries. Oh well. Mmm, <laughs> check it out, guys. Homemade Vivek cheese steaks with Munster. I put mayonnaise on mine, and there's the caramelized onions, jalapenos, french fries. How is it? Pretty good. Yum, yum, yum. Yummy in my tummy. Okay, guys, we are fat and happy, and we are going to bed. <laughs> what are you doing, little man? Crazy, Roxy. 
Good night, baby girl. Get on up here. Get ready for bed. <laughs> oh, I'm so <laughs> fat right now. Really gotta quit eating like that. No bueno. Okay. Hopefully these two will calm down. Probably not. I love you guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Holla suckers. <laughs> That's something you're not supposed to do. That's what you do to my sheets. Hey, Quint, leave your ear alone. Okay, good night. Bye.